Well, since I last recorded, some interesting things have been going on. First, new look, it's the Tato skin. Um, as you all know, because I talk about it incessantly, I have a long-term save that I'm running when I'm not playing this. It got to year 854 and crashed hard. Went back to a previous save. It got to year 854 about the same time, within like a week of when it crashed prior. Crashed hard again. So I thought, okay, the game is... <clears throat> There's something going on behind the scenes with the game that I'm not going to be able to figure out. 850 years is a good long-term save, especially for a game that's not designed to run that long uh, on Eternal Vacation as it is. So I uh, saved that. Uh, the guys at the manager's seat should have a video out on that. I'd like to say soon, but I'm not quite sure. Uh, if that comes out before this video comes out, I'll definitely link to it below. JD did a really good job with my thousand year save last year, and um, he sh he'll do a great job with it again this year, even though it's only under 850 years. But uh, I loaded this game up and it crashed as well, and I couldn't figure out why. So, uh, luckily, I had saved everything to the external a week before. And that was right around the transfer window. I deleted FM completely, wiped the free space, brought it back in. And rather than risk the issues of the Thalia skin being the cause of the problem, I thought I'll just go back to the Tato skin because I know it works. So the transfer window has been closed. We moved a couple of players out. Uh, Omar and Mary went to, uh, no, that was last time. No, yeah, because he just left. So Phil Vandenovsky went to Melbourne. We knew about that. Omar Mary went to Sevaspor. We talked about that. Art and Demi, Philip Matev, uh, Blagivit Pekovsky, Lazar Matreski, and uh, Rolla Pekaj and Bren Marion all went out on loan. Um, Jordan Odzakov went to Bregolnika on a free. He just he wasn't developing at all on the ends. And this is gonna, this is interesting because I'll talk about this here in a minute. Uh, Philip Matev, we brought him from Silex and then for 650,000 euros. And then we turned around and loaded him back out again. He is a interesting defensive right back, defensive center back, defensive mid. I suspect he will probably be playing defensive mid for us next season, if not defensive center back. Physically, he's pretty solid. Mentally, Four off the ball and two flare, I'm not too worried about. Because, again, defensive center back. Technically, he could be a lot better. I, I, It's the one crossing that prevents me from playing him full-time at defensive right back. His 10 marking, 14 tackling are nice. The 13 passing is nice. He's a better DM and a better... He, he, DM's his best position. His jumping range of 10 is heading a four means he's not the best uh, header in addition to the fact he's 5'7". So I thought maybe I could make him into a pacey defensive right back, and then I saw that his crossing was a one, and I thought, no, he'll probably be a defensive mid. The fact he can play those other positions is nice. I can use him in a pinch, but we'll see what happens. Um, Alexander Mitrev, we got on a free from Academica. He was on an amateur contract there. I picked him up one-star current ability, four-star potential ability. Physically, he's not bad. The four strength is a little bit on the low side, but that's coming up. The natural fitness and jumping reach as well. Mentally, he's got a lot of holes in his game. I'll be the first person to admit that. Vision, positioning, concentration, composure, bravery, anticipation. Those all need to be worked on. I suspect as he gets more playing time in the under 18s than that, he will. I picked him up because he's 17 years old. He's got a ton of potential. It didn't cost me anything. And if three years from now, we sell him on or move him on for not a lot of money, I've lost some money through salary in that. But... You know, this is one of those things where you take a chance. Could turn into something, it could not. And then Mili Todorov from Visla Krakow. He is probably the first one in a trend going forward where if a good older player is out there for a decent amount of money, in this case, 205,000 euros, I will pick him up, especially if he's as versatile as Todorov is. Three-star current ability, three-star potential ability, no real holes in his game, no real strengths in his game either, and that's okay. He's here to play the midfield, but he's currently not exactly match fit. For what we got for him, we're doing well. The salary is a bit on the high side. He is, at the moment, the highest paid player in the game. I am not too worried about that. I would pay that sort of money to keep a Grozdanowski here, to keep a Boznowski. Well, maybe not a Boznowski, but a Hazvieski, a Bardi, a Tasevsky for sure. 
Um, we're in an interesting place money-wise. We've got $3.8 million left on the transfer budget. It's guaranteed to be two point seven. We've got 26,000 euros of wiggle room left in the payroll budget. That's after increasing the scouting budget so we could scout these Macedonian players that we're finding all over the place as well. So, you know, we've got some work cut out for us. The, the question is, if at the end of the season I haven't spent that, two, I haven't spent the difference between the 2.7 and the 3.8, am I losing that? I would say yes. Now, that doesn't mean I'm going to go out and buy 1.8 million euros worth of players just because I feel like we need to. But, you know, nothing ventured, nothing gained sometime. I thought I'd done this before, uh, say, last time, and I hadn't. We already selected the team. We're playing a slightly different formation today. That's because of the injuries and so on and so forth. Uh, we got Groznowski in goal. Tosevsky, Vaj, Boznowski, and Barty is the defensive back four. Hadzieski, Pandev. Hadziewski, Pandev, and Marathi as the midfielders. You know what? I can go to a 4 2 4, can't I? And just switch Hadziewski and Pandev. And make Marathi his Mazala and make Pandev a ball winning midfielder on support. Which I should have done in the first place. So Skrosnowski and Goal, Tosevsky, Vaj, Bosnowski, and Barty is the defensive back for Marathi and Pandev is the midfielders of Boz and Ristov as the attacking mids. Hadziewski and Dmitriov up top as the strikers. So yeah, I, I will admit I was a bit panicked when the save wouldn't load. But one thing I do uh, is every three or four saves, I save after every match. Just Issues with FM 18 and 19 taught me that. Every five or six of those, I'll save to the hard drive. So that way, if something happens, I'm only, at best, a month behind of where I need to be. I got a George here on my nose. What the heck up is up with that? Okay. So we are playing at home against the Lil. They're a very good squad. They have some very good players. I like our chances. What is this? Okay, I'm not a fan of those. Gunnarsson makes a nice save. Ristoff to Barty. Dimitrov. Ristoff breaks right. He's got a little bit of space to work with. Pushes forward. Tries crossing it in. Hatsievsky's there. And he scores. We are 1-0 up. I'm not a fan. It was a good goal, a good assist by Ristoff. Hmm. I wonder if there's something else going on here. Bob to Yassizi. Bob, left side, gets it back to Truffert to Fafana. Fafana crosses it in. Gordon's there in the equalize. A nice assist by Yusuf Fafana to get the goal back. Barty takes the ball away. Pandev lost it forward toward Dimitrov, but it's headed back. Hyde gets it up to Yasici. Yasici? Yasici. Gordon again to Bamba. Bamba dinks Grozdanowski, and it hits the crossbar. Selich, Gordon, back to Selich. Izichi to Gordon. Gordon up to Bamba, got by the defender, and he dinks Grozdanowski for an easy goal. Oh, 
I wonder if it's my settings. Bob to Trufford, Bafana to Bob, Bamba out to Trufford. Trufford crosses it in. You see he's there. Nice save. Barty stops it from going out of bounds. Gets it to Grosdanowski. He sends it up the field. Dimitrov picks it up. Gets it to Marotti. Marotti to Dimitrov. Dispossessed, but he gets it back. Dimitrov from Marotti. Wow, we're getting really lucky here. Hadzievsky up for Ristov and a nice stop by Gunnarsson. Bozanovsky, all the way back to Grosnowski. <sighs> Baj just possesses the Lille player. Baz ends up with it. Marati, Hadzievsky does end up with it. A Baz back to Tosevsky. Tosevsky takes a shot. He skies it high and right. A Baz is not having a good game. Just, I'm not a fan of this. Gordon off the throw in to Fofana over to Yazichi. He feeds Bamba. Bamba gives it a. Oh, it looked like he gave it away, but Bob somehow got the ball. I've got to get a Boz off. Move Tosevsky there. This is what we're going to do. We're going to switch to the four, three, three. We're going to bring on Hadzievsky for Pandev. Switch Pandev and Baj. Bring on Stamkov. Hadzievsky likes to be a Mazzala. Marotti can be my deep point playmaker. Gordon sends it into the crowd too far. Grostanowski picks it up. Dimitrov gives the ball away. Dude, seriously? Selch. Gordon. Fafana. To Bob. Fafana. To Hyde. Izichi to Gordon. Gordon crosses it in. Grosinowski punched it away. It went right to Bam, but he scored. Don't know why he thought that was a good idea. One more thing I can try here. Nope. I have 25 50 by 14 40 monitors, so that's what I switched to here. Stampkov to Bozanovsky. Bozanovsky to Ristoff. Ristoff to Barty. Pauses here real quick because. Hatsievsky, and he scores. We get one back. We're, we're one down with 23 minutes left. That was some very good ball movement. Hatsievsky found a spot between the two defenders. It was just hanging out. Selich. Gordon with the ball. Diazici, sell it. Let a car. Diazici, long pass to Fofana. Got by the defenders. I don't know if he just put too much on it or Grozanowski forced him to put too much too much on it. But twenty three shots, thirteen on target for them. Seven and six for us. They've had one clear cut chance, and that is the game. Three shots, two on target. After a one nil half or a two one half time score, Bamba hat tricks or a brace of goals. Jeez, Jellico, get it straight. Hmm. We had a slight possession advantage. They had more corners. We won more of our passes. 
Do more of our headers. That's actually kind of nice. It was a good effort. I'm not a fan of those on the side. I think they just take up too much space. I find them distracting. So what I'm going to do, we're going to save the game here. As soon as I do the press conference, fix the training. Let's save the game. We're going to play Orid offline. And then we'll come back for the away match at Lil. I'm gonna try out a different. Ah, I am going to try out a couple of different skins during the Orid match to see if I find something that I like as much as the Tato skin, but without those panels hanging out. I just I can't explain those panels hanging out. Just absolutely annoy me. So back with that in just a bit. Uh, we are back and we're using the vince skin it's the one i have the fewest issues with at the moment and it's still a really good skin i like it just i'm not going to go back to the flea skin just for all the issues it was causing near the end there i'm almost positive there's a memory leak associated with it that if you use it for a long enough time it starts messing things up we'll be ordered three one thanks to goals by marati hadzievsky and tasevsky and then molda came along and offered us 1.5 million for hadzievsky and he said i'm gonna get really upset if you don't let me talk to them and he's not interested in signing a contract with us because, you know, why play at Bardar where he could be a starter for the next couple of years when you go to Molda and sit on the bench and earn about the same, if not more, money. So we're playing Lil on the back end today. We have, we're down by a goal. I like our chances. I do. I'm being optimistic, but I like our chances. We got Grosinovsky, Gol, Tisevsky, Vaj, Barty, and Jankalov as a defensive back four. We got Maradi and Hadzievsky as the midfielders, Pandev and Ristov as the attackments. Tosevsky and Dimitrov up top is the strikers. That is not right. Tosevsky up there. Let me take Tosevsky off. Can we bring on a Vaz? Let me bring on Davidovsky. Okay. You're never really quite done tinkering. So we got a Vaz on the bench for that. And I need to get... We'll put Tosevsky on the bench. He's good for 30 minutes. So if we need him, we can bring him in later in the game. Got Anthony Martial. Well, they're not taking any chances, are they? Of course they're not. Kalata Carr scores two minutes in with a header. As I'm sitting over here messing with this. The one thing I have noticed is at least the few games I've looked at, um, I haven't seen the uniform glitch. Truffert catches up the ball. He stopped running for a minute. Oh, and they scored off that. Are you kidding me? Truffert stopped running, and then he just, he outran Jankilov. Grozdanowski absolutely misplayed that. Hadzievsky to Vaj, to Barty, to Vaj, to Davidovsky. Long pass towards Dimitrov, knocked away. Bob to Hegabo, to Fana, to Martial, who outdeeks his guy. One-on-one, -on -one, and he's fouled. Gunnarsson to Mavete. Long pass towards Bamba. Bamba holds it up, crosses it in. Off the crossbar, Barty to Jankalov. Jankalov to Davidovsky, up to Ristov, and the highlight ends. Gunnarsson to Kletikar, to Mavete. Yazici to Fafana. Gebo, Martial. Look at him just run. And Gross to Noski, nice save. Corner kick in. And Claire Carr hits it over the crossbar. 
Man, I really thought we had a chance going into this. Dimitrov to Pandev. Pandev back to Davidovsky. All the way back. Barty up to Davidovsky. Long pass. Hadzievsky to Marathi. Got by the defenders. And Gunnarsson a very nice save. Carr stops it from going out of bounds. Truffert with the long pass. Martial heads it down to Bamba. And the ball's gone out of play. Coming up on halftime. Just a dominating performance by Lil. The three early goals are just absolutely killing us. They'd be killing any team, but they're really killing us. Jankalov on the throw in. Davidovsky crosses it in. Tosevsky. Oh, it goes off somebody and goes in for his first goal of the season. That looked like it ricocheted off somebody. I thought it looked like it ricocheted off, off Coletta Carr, but I guess not. Truffert to Benatow. Fana up to Grimaldo. Grimaldo to Hegebo. Intercepted. Barty. Pandev ends up with the ball. Dimitrov back to Pandev out to Tosevsky. He gets the ball to Marathi to Pandev. We got by the defender. Wow, that was a weak shot. It looked like it was going in because Gunnarsson absolutely sat on it. Barty to Vaj off the goal kick. Tosevsky to Marathi. One touch up to Pandev. Back to Marathi. He feeds Tosevsky. Back to Marathi. Make a couple changes here. Dimitrov out to Pandev all alone on the left. He pushes up. Doesn't have any help though. Marathi, who's dispossessed. Fafana dispossesses him. Oh, oh, what is that? Oh, jeez. Did we dodge a bullet there? Get Davidovsky off for Tosevsky. Get Pandev off for Abaz. Dimitrov to Marathi to Abaz. Breaks wide left. Holds it up. Gets it to Tosevsky. Marathi to Tosevsky. To Tosevsky. Marathi and Tosevsky back and forth. Tosevsky. Dimitrov feeds Ristov. Ristov. Baseline sends it in. Hadzievsky powers it. But it goes wide right. This is a good shot. It's three early goals. Of course, that doesn't help either. Rekic from outside the box, just at the corner of the D. Jeez. Oh, I'm flipping real. Just when I think we're close, something like this happens. I lull myself into a false sense of, hey, we're better than we actually are. Marathi heads the ball away. Coletta Carr is going to run it down. Centers it to Gritty. Martial. Oh, Marathi dispossesses him. Ristoff driving forward. Ristoff isn't going to outrun Benatow. He's going to give the ball right back to him. Gunnarsson to Coletta Carr. Back to Gunnarsson. Hegebo heads the ball down, goes right to Grimaldo. To Truffert breaking on the left. Truffert crosses it in, but Jankalov steps in front of it. Grosinowski just bombs it forward. Goes right back to Lil. Hegebo to Martial. Oh, good God. Are you freaking kidding me? That's got to easily be 28 yards. What a horrible, horrible game. They can be demotivated all they want. Our defense was absolutely laughable. Any other surprise results here? Porto beating Nice, maybe? That was insane. Received 300k. To 
Sosky scored. We have Alaska coming up in the cup semifinal. We'll come back for that. Don't know what other choice we have. It's about the only thing we're left playing for. It's annoying. So the other thing that did happen was I got the board to agree to increase our youth development or our youth recruitment. Again, at least I thought I thought I did. I know I did because it went up to exceptional. So, man, am I setting my am I setting my am I setting my expectations too high? You know, against Man United last season, that five three that five three loss was nice in that we held them to five while scoring three. I knew we weren't going to win that. This one here, I thought we had a really good chance of winning. Then they pull out flipping Anthony Martial. Jeez, that is annoying. It's the other thing I'm wondering on if I shouldn't be looking a little bit harder, seeing if I have to spend the difference in this money before it goes away. Plus, we're going to get um, Hadziaski's leaving for 1.1 million going to 1.5. It's all payments. So. And we get 15% on the next sale, which is fine. Um, we're seventh in the Norwegian Premier Division. Who was I thinking of when I thought they were in Germany? So it's possible he's going to get a decent amount of playing time there. He's earning 1.1 thousand a week here. He'll probably earn more there. So, uh, you know, let me check something out here real quick. Yeah, they're good. They're doing well. I mean, this Man United game, you know, we held them to, th we held them to five, and we still had, it was a good game. And I knew when we were turning around and playing them again here, we were going to get absolutely thrashed, and we did. But, you know, we, well, we may copy Tel Aviv, but they're not the strongest squad. We're probably a little bit stronger than them. But against Anderlecht, we did okay, too. I mean, we lost on aggregate, but they're, they're a strong squad, too. I'm just setting myself up for failure. That's all there is to it. So, you know, and the squad itself, and it's just, <sighs> I've got weaknesses in the squad that are being exposed. I need some of these younger players to start developing and like quick. These guys, some playing time, maybe bringing. Maybe start playing some of these 17 and 18 year olds the last half of the season. You know, I don't I don't see why not. You know, the only thing we're in danger of at the moment is losing our grip on first place and we're eight points ahead of Tickfest, who we're playing here in three days. So if we beat them, it goes up even more. So maybe that's what I need to start doing. We'll have to figure it out. Man, we gotta crack we gotta crack this qualifying round. barrier one of these years so not the best episode i apologize for that a lot of stuff going on a lot of moving parts a lot of self-inflicted wounds mostly but that said if you did like what you've seen in here please leave a like subscribe to the channel for more content questions criticisms comments leave those down below i'll answer as best i can my name is fm Delco. thank you for watching